How many can say amen? amen? That's what the church has got back, has needs to get back to is the intimate relationship with the Lord. Knowing him in the power of his resurrection. Come on, somebody. We're good. We're, we're celebrating his death and his, his resurrection. But his death on the cross, on a cruel, on a cruel, old rugged cross. I'm going to get shot, amen. The songwriter, songwriter wrote, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. Come on. We wear crosses these days. And they're beautiful, brothers and sisters. They're pretty. I, I have this one with the, with, I mean, with, the, with the gold and all this pretty stuff, silver and all. I don't know what's all on it, but it hurts when I cut my arm. I said they rub on it, praise the Lord. It's pretty. Can you say amen? But the cross that Jesus bore was an old rugged cross. And he, the Bible says that he bore that cross. He carried that cross. He, he carried it right up to them, beat him, and, and did everything, and walked him. But the Bible says that he went and he took it to a place called Calcutta. And that's where he laid down his life. How many can shout amen tonight? Been in churches where they say, don't preach about the, the cruelness of the cross. Don't preach about the devil's a liar. How many can shout amen? We gotta preach the cross. It's what we need. The apostle Paul said that I only want to be known for a cross. I only want to preach the cross. I want to live the cross. The Bible says, Jesus said to take up your cross and follow me. How many can shout amen tonight? That cross was an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And at that cross, was nailed every guilt and every shame and, and every sin and every sickness. Oh, come on, somebody. I said, on that cross was, was nailed every shame and every sickness and every weight and, and every, every devilish thing. And it was for you and you and you and you. We used to have the, those, those people that's from here and River I saw Jesus died for me long ago. Something about him dying so that I can live. Something about him dying so that I can be free, King of Simon. Praise God, that cross was an emblem. That cross. Jesus took every sin and every 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 way every every sickness at the cross. That's why the that's why the Bible says, "Hallelujah!" By His stripes. Oh, come on, somebody! I said, "By His stripes, by His stripes." The flood of the thirty-nine feedings on His back. They, Hallelujah! By His stripes, I. And you. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why I said anybody can get healed in this place tonight. Anybody can get touched in this place tonight. Everyone! Because of what Jesus did on the cross for you and I. Took that shame and that sin and he took it all and he bore upon that cross for you and I. Bible says he laid him down nailed his hands and his feet to that old rugged cross. The songwriter wrote, the way of the cross leads home. How many of you shout amen? The way of that cross. We used to 
to see that star, uh, uh, the cross before me, the world behind me. Come on, we used to sing that song. We used to be warriors fighting, marching unto Zion. But we got to remember what Jesus did for us. Laying his life. Laying his life. He said, no one taketh my life. Come on. If, 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 the, if the enemy knew that what Jesus was going to do, hallelujah, they would do everything they could to save him. But how many know he came? He lived to die for you and I, King of Solid Man. He lived to die. Hallelujah. That was his purpose. Because he loves you so much. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Come on. Aren't you glad he loved this world? Oh, you, your cousin may not love you. Come on. Your family may not love you. Come on. But I know someone who does. The songwriter wrote, he looked beyond the faults. The songwriter wrote, he looked beyond the shame and the doubt. And he looked beyond it. And he saw my needs. Amen. He lifted me on and he said, you know what? I don't see a messed up cord. I see a son, my son, who has forgiven. Oh, sorry, man. I don't see, I don't see uh, the, the, the old man that, 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 that he used to do what he used to do. I see through the blood of Jesus that was shed upon Calvary. My son. Can you shout amen? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I'm just getting warmed up, amen. I'm a long way to preach you, praise the Lord. But if you have your Bible tonight, Marshall took my scripture. <laughs> but I I thank the Lord for her. Give a good Lord, give the Lord a good hand. Marshall. I was trying to get rid of, I was trying to get away from them, but they just said, come on, come on up to Parker, can you say amen? They probably say the same thing, amen? But, uh, but, but I just thank God for the cross. I just thank God for his, his atonement, can you say amen? His, his, his ultimate sacrifice. His, his sacrifice for you and I. How many can say amen? That sacrifice that he laid down his life for you and I. Let's go, let's look at that scripture real quick. And that will be long before you and I sing all night. I can sing all night again. But uh, we got to have the word of God. Can you shout amen? Yeah. Let's not all stand as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And God, we praise you for your word tonight. Lord, as we just spend a few minutes in your word, Father, speak to us, Lord. Oh, Lord, just from the youngest to the oldest, Lord, it says in your word, Lord, in the beginning was your word. Yes. And the word was with God. The word was God. Yes. Lord, I thank you that your word will, that everything will perish someday, the, the grass days and the flowers wither, wither, but your word will stand when everything else fails around us. Your word will stand. Your promise will stand forever. God, we thank you for your word. Your word brings hope and life and peace and comfort. Your word that, that, that praise God is so precious and, and how you said in your word man shall not live by bread alone but by every word uh, that proceeded out of the mouth of God Lord uh, let your word not return back void tonight uh, let your word fall on good ground oh, yeah. come on somebody let your word go out uh, into the very marrow of the hearts and the lives of the people of God we thank you we praise you in Jesus' name, everyone said amen.
First Corinthians chapter one. I'll, I'll let you uh, look for it. Get your glasses out, amen. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians chapter eighteen. Verse number eight. For the preaching of the cross is foolishness. Come on. Yes. To those who are perishing. But unto us who are saved. How many saved here tonight? Yes. It is the I'm going to get shout amen tonight. Amen. Come on, people don't understand why we shout. People don't understand why we dance. I know we have a lot of churches represented here, and my Lord, but we're, gonna, we're just going to we're just going to get our hair a little messed up a little bit. Can you shout amen? But praise God, but they wonder why we may shake a little bit. Can you say amen? Wonder why they roll in the aisles. And they wonder why we are so quiet. Come on, Sally Man. I, 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 I preached and ministered in all different kinds of churches. Been to every different church there is. Amen. I, 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 I've been in, the, in the, 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 the holy rollers to the sanctified. Be still and know I am. Come on, somebody. And you know what? I come to, I come to find out I love it all. Can you say amen? I love it all. I love, I love to go to a place where I can just be at home and I can just stand back. Because I, I know that God is a God of variety. Look around. You'll see people with, with some hair, some with different colors and different things. Come on, somebody. You go look out in the parking lot and you see some cars that are clean and some cars that aren't. Come on. Variety. Variety. Can you say amen? And that's what I learned from going to ministry, minister at all these different churches. That God is a God of, of a variety. But how many know, praise God, the Bible says, natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. I don't care what, what denomination you are, but if you know the Holy Ghost, can you say that? Yeah. People and some believe that the Holy Ghost was just for them in the book of Acts. Some believe that the book, the Holy Ghost, uh, hallelujah, was, was just for the apostles. Some, some believe that it hasn't even come. But can you shout amen tonight? Praise God. Whatever you believe in tonight, I believe we should all come together on what we do agree on. Can you say amen? Yeah. We can stand here and say, we can pour out our doctrines. Can you say amen? We can stand, we can pull out our manual. Can you say amen? We can get our superintendent on the phone. Can you shout amen? But praise God, I'd rather know Christ and Him crucified. Can you say amen? Oh, praise God. I don't care if your church believes and dancing and shout. Praise God. All I want to know is Christ and Him For the creature of the cross. Come on. It's foolishness to those that are perishing. How many know that? The world don't understand it until they have an encounter with the living. Oh, come on, somebody. I said the world don't understand what happens when you have an encounter with the Lord. I think of Saul who had that encounter with the Lord who was knocked off his high horse. He said, who are you, Lord? He said, who are you, Lord? He called him, Lord. Can you sign amen? He began, he seen the 
like. Can you say that? We sing that song at the cross, at the cross, where for a soul of life. But it's foolish. The preaching of the cross. You know, they say, well, why do you preach this? Why do you, why do you, why do you have that cross? You know, the majority of people wear crosses. And you don't, they don't even know why they wear crosses. Can you shout amen? Amen. Other denominations wear crucifix. Oh, come on. I'm going to mess up some doctrine here tonight. Some, some, per, some people still wear crucifix. And with Jesus on that cross. But I'll come tonight to tell you, he's no longer on that cross. He's no longer on that cross. But they laid and took him down. And they laid him in a ball tube. And on the third day, the preaching of the cross is foolishness. Come on. For to those that are perishing. For the Lord did not come into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. Can you say amen? The Bible says, He that don't believe is condemned already. Come on, somebody. You don't believe. I don't care if you don't believe. But there's hope for you tonight. Can you say amen? amen. There's hope for those tonight. People think, oh, I'm hopeless. You don't know my life. You don't know my Jesus. Come on, somebody. You don't know what I did. But you don't know what Jesus did for you 2,000 years ago. How he laid his life down. Brother Corwin, that's foolishness. Believe whatever you want. Come on, somebody. But unto those who are saved, unto those who are who come on, I wish I had somebody that was saved in here. I said, I wish I had somebody in here that was saved, washed in the blood, filled with his spirit, on their way to heaven. Folks in here. Shout it out to me. But unto those that are saved. Oh, come on. Unto those who are saved and filled with the Spirit. For those who bought were bought with a price. For those. Come on, somebody. But unto those that are saved, it is the power of God. Come on, shout amen. That's why we preach about the cross. I said, that's why we preach about the cross. That's why we sing about the cross. That's why we shout about the cross. That's why. 